My work is a lot about feeling. Um, it is like, like a bridge, because feeling is like a bridge to understanding something. And I like, I like feeling. The feeling is an immediate, an immediate reaction to the human being. It's, it's like, you know, when we see uh, light, when we smell something, it's, it's immediate. Beyond the passage through life, which uh, basically it is all the experience that we get uh, from being alive, I am concerned um, with the human rights uh, and also with the, the way that they are compromised in, um, in our society. And with my work, I'd like to uphold the human dignity, uh, remind um, people of what it feels like uh, when, when people are abused or uh, are being dis dis discarded like numbers rather than uh, human beings. So um, these are my main themes. This one here is the figure of a woman that is uh, folded uh, into a, a pose of, of I, I would say, protecting her body and herself. That's what I would like to do. I, I like to do with my work, to, to make people recognize part of themselves in the work, aspects of themselves, because this is what we are all sharing the desires and thoughts and needs in the struggle for balance and in the struggle for inner um, peace. It differs from, from what I was doing before, creating a sculpture and sometimes combining performance with sculpture in order to animate it. Uh, now I'm doing film and sculpture, so I create a sculpture and then I incorporate it into film to, um, to try and give it more life. The, the work that's going to be showing now is about balance and freedom uh, within this iron sphere, which is our life within society, within the systems of the Western world. So I created an iron sphere uh, to my dimensions. I made it so that I could fit in, in inside it. And uh, if you get into a sphere, it's, it doesn't have real balance because it is a ball and you roll one way or another and so on. And the struggle to try and maintain, maintain some kind of balance. Um, this is what I wanted to say. None of us can escape from that sphere. We have to find uh, freedom within the sphere that we are placed in life. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I met, I met Mila in Istanbul um, when she came to see uh, an installation that I had uh, I had there um, with the 13th Istanbul Biennale um, and it was called I Am I, Between Worlds and Between Shadows and it had to do um, with the abuse of the dignity of women and children. And it was um, installed inside uh, a Greek girls' school in Fener in Istanbul, uh, which was closed for 25, 30 years. And um, the boys' school was there working, but there was no school for the girls. So I thought that was a good, uh, <laughs> a good example to install um, an exhibition that had to do 
uh, with women's rights and dignity and so on. So this is where Mila came and that's how we um, met each other. Here we are. So this is, we are now in the big studio where all the bigger works happen. So here is new work that is going to be shown at the Gazelle Art House. Um, it's called In Balance, Seeds in Balance. And this particular work can move in all directions. It is made of stainless steel. And um, the seeds are turning. And you can move it this way and that. And these um, things, these are weights that you can play with. You can alter the balance. You can alter the position of the, of the weights and, uh, and play. There are three of those here. So there are different shapes. They, some of them look quite aggressive. Um, somebody s said that they look like ancient weapons, but also that they are like male and female forms, like uh, more pointed and less pointed. So these are quite intricate uh, works. They're all made by hand all cut by hand and made by hand. So there's nothing, nothing ready-made here. It, it's all manufactured by hand. This is where we start. Uh, the idea is of sculptures that are seed-like, and then I make another smaller uh, seed and then try to balance the smaller and the bigger, the rounder and the longer, and create those balances and use the weights to express the balance and to play and to interact with the sculpture. Here is the beginning of them. So you can see there is an axis here and there are small pieces all cut very precisely to fit around here like this. So each piece is being welded one next to the other and then he grinds the excess of the weld in order for each leaf to fit precisely next to each other to form this beautiful thing. We can move into here where you can uh, see the development of the work the, at the center of the world where the film happened and that sculpture. So here is uh, sketches of how the human figure can fit and squash um, oneself within the sphere. And over there have the actual um, full-size sketch uh, of the sphere. So I then used the, the sphere in the film, so a, a real human being, an actress, sat inside the sphere and, <clears throat> and rolled around and I made the film. This is how that work is be, uh, was conceived. It's a very strange thing how the ideas come. They, they come like uh, you know, I'm sketching, I'm thinking, I'm uh, uh, putting down uh, thoughts and, and, um, and, and designs. And uh, it is like following um, a light within a dark tunnel. And this little light becomes stronger and stronger as you follow it. And then... Um, while you follow it, you come out into more light, and that's how the, the, the piece of work happens. <laughs> 